Y'all have been begging me for my guard build, so today, that's exactly what I'm showing y'all. So if you want a guard build that gets contact dunks, gets a 92 three-pointer and can shoot from anywhere, a 92 ball handle getting all the best sigs in the game, and still gets good defense to be able to hold his own on the other end, then this is exactly the build you need. And I know y'all see me on next gen, but don't worry, you can make this exact build on current gen as well. So today, I'll be showing you guys not only how to make the build, but also showing you guys my jump shot, animations, dribble moves everything that I use on this build. And if you guys are already subbed and watch my other videos, this is the guard build from my new guard series. So without any further ado, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and let's set a goal of 1k likes on this video. But starting off with this build, the position you want to go with point guard, hand this, and jersey number obviously don't matter. But for your body settings, you want to go with 6'2 for the height. And for your weight, you want to go minimum weight. That way you get all the speed and everything you need because you don't really need strength on a point guard build. Unless you're making like a 6'9 or something like that. But for today, we're making a smaller guard. And now for your wingspan, you want to go with 6'6". Six six. This will allow you to get all the contact dunks you need. As well as the attribute caps for shooting and dribbling. To be able to get all of the animations, dribble moves, jump shots that you need and want on this build. And then for your body shape, you can really go with anything. It really does not matter. That's all just personal preference. Now starting off in the finishing category, we're going to go one by one. So starting off with the driving dunk, we're going to bring that all the way up to an 86. Which unlocks our contact dunks. And then right after... After that, this is one of the most underrated things in the game. You're going to bring up your driving layup to a 90. Now, you don't have to copy this exactly. This is just my personal preference and how I like my build. But like I said, having a high layup is one of the most underrated and most fun things to have on this game. So that's going to be it for the finishing category. And moving on to the shooting, we're going to have a 92 three-pointer. And obviously, that brings up our free throw and mid-range. But what a 92 three-pointer does is it ends up giving us the gold limitless range badge. And as you can see, we get almost every other badge in hall of fame as well but after that we're gonna move up our mid-range shot up to an 80 and then our free throw to go along with all of that to a 75 moving on to the playmaking category we're gonna bring our ball handle up all the way to a 92 and what having it as a 92 does is it unlocks all of the best animations for dribbling and now after that we're gonna bring up our pass accuracy all the way to a 75 that way you unlock the lebron pass style which if you don't know you definitely need that on this game because it just makes your passes so much faster but after that we're not really gonna touch the speed with ball we're just gonna leave that out of the 77 because trust me that is plenty because once you get the hall of fame quick first step you're golden moving on to the defense and rebounding it's not going to be too crazy since we are a small guard build and you're going to have other teammates on your team as well to pick up on the defensive end but you definitely want to have some stuff on this build so you're going to bring up your perimeter defense all the way up to a 70 and then right after that you're going to bring up your steel all the way to an 85 to give you silver glove and finally to finish off the defensive category we're going to bring up our defensive rebound to a 37 it's not crazy but it might help you out a little and finally, for the physicals category, we're going to bring up our speed all the way to an 80. You don't really need it at a 90 or anything like that because when you're a guard on this game, the only thing that speed affects is when you're moving off ball or on defense. So 80 is perfectly fine. But for the acceleration, we're going to bring that all the way up to a 90. That way, when we're dribbling and moving around, we're as fast as possible right off the rip. And like I said, since we're a guard, we're just going to skip over the strength and moving on to the vertical, we're going to bring that up to a 75. That way, if you're on next gen, you get all of the contact dunk animations along with your 86 driving them and finally you're just gonna put the last of your attributes on stamina that'll bring it up to a 90 but trust me that is fine especially once you get gym rat because you get plus four to all of these physical attributes and there is the build man you got a couple extra attributes so you can really put them wherever i'm just gonna put them on close shot but like i said you get contact dunks with an 86 driving dunk 92 three-point shot 92 ball handle some decent defense even though you are a small guard and then obviously some great physicals to go along with it as well moving on to the takeovers you have a lot of options to choose from obviously you can never go wrong with sharp shooting takeover but you literally have playmaking sharp shooting shot creating as well as finishing and if you're on current gen this might look a little bit different because they're all be combined into one however you can really choose whatever you like for these it is all personal preference and there we have it man the three level shot creator now that you guys know how to make the build let me show you guys the animations jump shots and everything that i use on this build all right and moving on to the badges starting off with the finishing category you definitely want to have these two finishing badges on they're the most important limitless takeoff and posterizer you definitely want to max those out first and then after that you could have on slithery fearless finisher giant slayer and aerial wizard those are what i put on but the rest of them are really just up to you and whatever you think would work well for your play style moving on to the shooting category these 
are the two most important ones you want to have on limitless range on gold you want to max that out as well as gold agent three you want to max that out as well easily the two most important badges to have on in this game as a shooter and for the rest of these you can really do whatever you want this is what i did i put on hall of fame green machine bronze catch and shoot silver amp just so even when you lose stamina you can still time your shot pretty easily gold volume shooter which definitely helps out a ton guard up it doesn't work very well this year you know it's been shown to not even really pop up but i definitely still have it on bronze at least and then bronze clutch shooter as well just in case you're late game you'll still knock down your shots even if you miss time them a tiny bit moving on to the playmaking badges the two most important ones here are going to be quick first step maxed out to hall of fame as well as gold unpluckable that way you don't get plucked whenever you're dribbling and stuff like that and then after that you want to max out your handles for days to silver and then the next couple are completely up to you i put on hyperdrive on hall of fame bailout on bronze just in case i need to make a pass out in case i accidentally start shooting and finally i have dimer on bronze for my last badge moving on to the defense and rebounding category you can see right here i only get glove on bronze however if you do some of the challenges and quests to get a couple extra badges all you need is one extra badge to be able to get that on silver so i would definitely you know recommend putting that extra badge on defense and then after that i have bronze clamps as well workhorse on silver is definitely another good badge you definitely want to have that on if you're chasing for the ball this is going to help you out a lot and help you win the ball over your opponent and after that i got menace on silver rebound chaser on bronze and then finally chase down artists on bronze as well but yeah that's pretty much it for all the badges let's move right into the animations now so starting off with the jump shot you can go with a bunch of different things here but my personal favorite and the jump shot that i use on this build is going to be base stephen curry and then both of the releases are going to be dwayne wade now a lot of people like to use oscar robertson and stuff like that so the releases especially are going to be personal preference however this is just my favorite release to use by far and obviously you want to max out the release speed just so it's as fast as possible and animation blending since both releases are the same it can be absolutely anything it won't change the jump shot moving on to the playmaking moves and dribbling animations my dribble style obviously is going to be michael jordan it is just the fastest dribble style in the entire game and it just makes sense to have it on every build you can for the signature size up i use steve francis size up escape package i use john wall this gives you the same lebron like step back move that gives you so much space every single time so i definitely have that on i would definitely recommend it to you and moving crossover russell westbrook it is one of the most op moves in the game so you definitely want to have that on as well moving behind the back is Allen iverson moving spin is going to be basic that way you're able to do all of the spin back animations and stuff like that moving hesitation you could go with anything here but normal is my favorite and then moving step back is going to be luka Doncic, easily the best one in the entire game especially when you pair it with the spin back with the move and spin basic and now for the dunk animations if you're on current gen this is going to look way different but i'm just going to go over the name of all of the animations so it's going to be the same and you could just look them up on current gen but starting off we got the pro contact dunks you're going to want to have that one equipped because that'll actually give you all of the contact dunks in the game i also have flashy hangs off two athletic one handers off two quick drops off one which is one of the most op dunk packages in the game so you definitely want to have this on as well i also have straight arm tomahawks on as well as the russell westbrook dunk package on definitely one of the best things you can have on for a guard and i also have the pro contact dunks off one so you definitely want to get the pro contact dunks off two and one for this build but yeah that's pretty much it for all the animations i like to use but hey man if y'all made it to this point i appreciate y'all so much for watching if you guys haven't already make sure to like subscribe turn on the post notifications and definitely go check out this video right here